What is the best school? The next lesson, one of the students asks an interesting question. She says, Next week, I am going home. I would like to continue studying in my country. I don't know how to choose a good school there. Could you help me? How do I know if the school is good or not? My teacher says, This is a very good question. I believe that when you read, listen, and speak a lot, you don't have to go to a school. You will learn English naturally by using it. But if you want to pay for your education, a good teacher can help you learn faster. If you want to know if your school is good, before the first lesson of the course, go to testlanguages.com. There you can find how many words you know. After five lessons at the new school, do the test again, and you can see how many new words you know. If you are happy with your progress, you can continue paying for your lessons. It is also important that you enjoy every lesson and you look forward to the next one. It is important to enjoy every activity which you do with English. I also give private lessons via Skype. If you are interested, I can teach you via Skype. If you don't find a good school in your town, you can contact me and I can help you. This is great, says the student. I want to have private lessons with you via Skype. This is great news for me. I didn't know that it was possible to have a private lesson with my teacher. Soon, I am also going back to my country, and I want to have private lessons with my teacher. When you go to school, you have to see your progress and enjoy every lesson. What to do when you need help? It is Wednesday, and I go to school again. At the beginning of the next lesson, Monica has a question for my teacher. She asks her, How do you know all this? Where did you learn information about studying languages? Our teacher says, There are many ways how I get information about learning languages. The first way is through experience. I started to teach seven years ago. I have many years of experience. When I teach you, I observe what works and what doesn't work, and then I use only things which help. I also study materials about learning languages on the Internet. When I find something interesting, I test it in one of my classes. If it works, I use it in all other classes. I have a good friend. She is also a teacher, and we often speak about the best way to learn languages. Sometimes she gives me good tips for my classes. There is also another way how I get information. It is usually during moments when I have a question, but I can't find an answer to this question. During these moments, I go and visit my magic park, and I get the answer there. Monica tells my teacher, This is interesting. How do you get the answers in the magic park? Where is the magic park? Can we go there, too? My teacher says, What I want to tell you now is not real to everybody. If it sounds crazy, I am sorry. But you asked for it, so I am giving you the answer. I believe that if you have a question and you ask the universe for an answer, the answer comes. When I have a question, I go to the magic park. I sit on a bench. I relax my body. I breathe slowly, and I try to stop my thinking. Then I ask the question. This is all. Sometimes the answer comes as a new idea in my head. Sometimes somebody who I meet later 
tells me something which helps me get the answer. Sometimes I watch an interesting video on the Internet, and I find the answer there. Sometimes the answers come the next day in the morning when I wake up. What is interesting is the fact that the answers usually come. I am very happy when they come. As I said, you don't have to believe what I am telling you, but this is what I do and how it works for me. The park is not very far from here. It is a ten-minute walk. A lot of people go to the park to relax. It is beautiful. It has a very nice atmosphere. I call it a magic park because it is magical for me. My teacher's words are very interesting for me. I didn't know that people can ask the universe for answers. Maybe in the future, when I have some interesting question, I can go to the park and also ask for an answer. When you have a problem with something, ask for help. Summary. The next day, one girl asks our teacher an interesting question. She says, Thank you for the information which you give us on how to learn English. Can you give us a summary? Can you give us some rules about what we can do every day to learn English well? Our teacher says, Okay, I can give you a simple summary. If you want to speak English well, you need to do three things. You have to read, listen, and speak. You already have this information. What is important is that you do all these three activities the same amount of time. If you don't do one thing, your progress isn't usually very good. From my experience, I can say that it is important to use English every day for 90 minutes. You don't have to study, but it is good to use English actively. Now, I will explain every activity in more detail. Let's start with reading. It is good to read for 30 minutes every day. It is the minimum. Don't read to study English. Read to get some new information. Read to enjoy an interesting story. I know that I repeat this information again and again, but it is really important. Then, it is good listen to English for 30 minutes every day. It is good to start to listen to simple audiobooks or news first. Then you can go to a higher and higher level of books and news. When you know 2,000 words, you can start watching films and videos on the Internet. Then there is speaking. You already know how important it is to speak when you study English. It is important to speak for 30 minutes every day. Of course, the best is to speak to real people. It can be your teacher, your colleagues, or friends. Try to find somebody who is at your level of English or a little better and speak with this person. But if you have nobody to speak to, with shadowing and thinking aloud, you can also get a lot of speaking practice every day. I use these techniques very often when I learn Spanish. I don't have any native Spanish speakers in my life. I use these two techniques to improve my Spanish. As you can see, studying English is simple. All you have to do is read, listen, and speak. This is all. Now you know how to do it. Thank you, says the girl. This is great information. You are the best. I am also very happy that the girl asked this question. It is my last day at school, and I needed some summary about what I can do. During the four weeks which I spent with my teacher, I learned a lot. I also improved my English very much. My teacher knows that this is my last day at school. 
She asks me if I want to say something to the other students in the class. I say that I was very happy to study in this class. I met a lot of nice people. I give everybody my email address, and I tell them that they can contact me if they want to. Then I say goodbye to everybody. I am a little sad, but I know that I have to continue with my life. Now, it is one year after my last day at school. I used English every day. I used the techniques from my teacher. Now, I know 4,000 words in English. It is great. I also have a new job. I start to teach English. I teach beginners. They know only 500 words. It is good for me because I know that I need a lot of practice as a teacher before I can teach at higher levels. I have one great advantage in my new job. I had a great teacher in London. I learned a lot from her. Now, I am trying to give all what I learned from my teacher to my students. I want them to be successful too. When you want to learn English, read, listen, and speak. Do each activity for 30 minutes every day. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next interesting story.